Welcome back everyone and today we're going to be taking a break from chemistry because I got a bunch of videos coming up that's going to be an x-ray series. Um, but for the x-ray series we're going to need a high voltage power supply and that leads me into Kerlin photography today. Kerlin photography just uses a high frequency high voltage source to create really awesome images like shown here. Historically this was considered to show one's aura and had a lot of kind of superstition around it um, because they are really really cool looking images I mean they look like crazy um, but it can be more modernly explained by just simple corona discharge actually I really shouldn't say historically because I've seen people on TikTok that still 100% believe that curling photography shows your aura yeah we're screwed we're screwed um, TikTok's just a trash app anyway but yeah so let's get into it and actually do some curling photography to accomplish this, I first had to gather some components. I got a 24 volt 75 VA transformer, a 10 amp full bridge rectifier, a Chinese ZVS driver, and a DIY flyback, which I actually wound myself. I'm using a DIY flyback instead of just a simple CRT TV one, and it's because the TV ones have diodes in it, which makes them DC. We don't want DC. For this project, we need AC. I then wired all the components together, like seen here in this schematic. This whole thing worked by first taking in mains 120 volts, converting it to 24 volts AC in the transformer. This is then converted to DC in the full bridge rectifier, electro boom moment. And then from there, this feeds into the Chinese ZVS driver, and this converts that 24 volts DC into a high frequency output. This is then fed into our DIY flyback transformer, and this will step up the voltage to roughly around 30,000 volts at a high frequency. After I assembled everything together, I went ahead and threw it into a mineral oil bath. Now, I'm doing this because mineral oil is highly insulative, and it'll prevent things from arcing to each other, because you would not believe the amount of ZVS drivers I have blown by arcs flying back and just blowing the MOSFETs out. So yeah, mineral oil it goes just for extra safety. Now let's give it a nice test and pull some arcs with it. Well, um, as you can see that voltage is really high because it decided to go through. <laughs> oh lord. As you can see, those are some really nice meaty arcs. Holy crap. Yeah, those are some scary arcs. They are pumping quite a bit of current through those. So yeah, if you touch that, you would you would die. You'd be seeing Steve Irwin. Also, on a side note, fuck that stingray. Okay, now that we've got the high voltage source out of the way, now we need to create some curling photography plates, and this will help form our corona discharge, creating the awesome images. So the simplified version of these plates usually consists of a conductive layer, usually metal, an insulative layer on top of that, usually glass, and then on top of that is a photographic film, and then the object you want to image is on top of that. So the film is sandwiched between the insulative layer and the object, and this develops it onto traditional film. Um, but I don't want to use traditional film because I don't have a red room, I don't have all that crap, and it's... It's the 21st century, okay? We got digital cameras. So I'm gonna modify the plates a bit so that I can just use my phone camera to take the pictures instead. I first started off with two glass panels with the dimensions of seven by four inches. I then took some small diameter copper wire and wrapped it around the edge of the plate, making sure to leave a small opening at the top and a bit of it sticking out the top too. You can see on the video here what that looks like. I then just glued it all down with some super glue and baking soda. I then went ahead and took the other plate and sandwiched it right on top of that and filled in the sides using silicone, leaving a small opening at the top where we also left our opening with the copper wire. I absolutely hate silicone. I hate it. It sticks to everything. It's hard to get off. I hate silicone. Okay, so it's the next day and the silicone has fully dried, so I went ahead and just filled up the plates with ordinary salt water. I then sealed the hole using silicone at the top, and here we have it, our Curlin Photography plates. Essentially just two glass plates with a conductive salt water layer in the middle. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this compared to the original design. Now the conductive layer is a clear layer you can actually see through. So now instead we can take the images from the bottom up looking straight through without the need of photographic film. Now with this design I can go ahead and use my camera to take some really cool images. Okay, so let's turn her on. I went ahead and connected one side of the high voltage, the copper wire sticking out the top, this is our conductive layer. And then the other side, I went ahead and connected it to our object. In this case, it's a key. So let's start her up. All 
Ah, and that is so beautiful. But the real magic shows when I take a photo from underneath it. What I'm gonna do is a fern. <laughs> and now we got some drip from an old Halloween costume. Um, yes, it says savage. So we'll see how this one comes out. came out pretty good that's definitely becoming the thumbnail i do gotta say is actually for the two dollars this cost on wish actually not that bad it's kind of impressive they can make this for two dollars but drip or drown drip or drown now we got this us one dollar coin Got this two pounds coin, and it's a lot more detailed than the US coins, so it should come out pretty good. Oh, that's metal as fuck. So I'm gonna do all the coins I have left. I have some Icelandic, some European, um, some British, a bunch of mix of different coins in there, so it should come out looking really cool. Well, the last one didn't come out too good, probably because there was just too much charge spread out. But now I have a processor on there, so I'm really excited for this one. This one should be really good. Wow, those images came out incredible. It's so beautiful. And uh, if you notice, my YouTube profile picture is this right here, just because it's, it's so beautiful. The concept behind this is really simple. When we apply this super high voltage, to our object and the insulative layer, essentially electrons fly off the object attracted to the conductive layer. But there's an insulator between them, so instead of making a direct arc, they kind of just fly off and ionize the air around it, creating that purple discharge. And that's mainly the ionization of nitrogen and you know oxygen and things like that. Now, depending on the geometry of the object, this gives different images because the electrons in sharp areas are more likely to fly off, where in more rounded areas, they're less likely to fly off. Um, and then this also relates to the historical aura thing because depending on the day, people would have different curling photography images when they put their fingers and stuff on it. And that's because each day, your fingers may have different conductivities and a bunch of other things. So it actually completely changes the image every time. And that's what they thought it related to your mood and aura and things like that. And every time I do this, I'm just amazed by the images. They are so pretty. Okay, well that wraps it up for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Just a little short one before we get into the x-ray series, which is, I have a lot of fun stuff to do with that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.